My name is Anoop and I am the co-founder of Arrow Digital. Today I am at the online prosperity show and we are going to be talking about how to differentiate your business in a crowded market and what methods of digital marketing you can use to get an edge over your competition. So look forward to having you here. Thank you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the godfather himself of digital marketing in Australia, Anup. Anup, how are you doing, my man? I'm great. Thanks, thanks Prosper. Thanks for the honor. And Thank it's you. really great to be with you. I, I really love to, uh, to, to talk to people who are so passionate and enthusiastic about digital marketing. And... Uh, and I think you'll really enjoy the show. Thank you so much. All right. So if you're a viewer and you're watching this show right now, um, Anup um, is the co-founder of Arrow Digital, where they help you attract, engage, and grow your audience. Now, Arrow Digital was started off by two entrepreneurs who actually believe in the power of digital marketing. And now they are redefining the standards of delivery in the Australian market. Now, I also run a digital marketing enterprise, but when I come across Aro Digital, you have to stop and pay respect to the people that are actually doing great work in the industry there, okay? So they actually noticed there was a gap in the digital marketing industry in, um, in Australia. On the other hand, there was factory, you know, like agencies that were not delivering the best service. And there were also smaller agencies that, really were not um, you know, providing that love and care for their customers. That's when our ad, um, agency came in and now they're giving a high level um, of commitment and agency to all the campaigns that are entrusted to them. Now, um, Anurup, did I say that correctly? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what we sort of take pride on, the fact that uh, like we have a very big why, why we started this business. So, so myself and my business partner, we were both working in, in uh, Australia's largest digital agencies. And one of the things we found was that these agencies had, had tens of thousands of clients. And often because there were so many clients, the client would become just a number. And we wanted while we wanted to make a con contribution to the client to make sure they're getting the highest value possible, very often, despite our wanting to do that, you would not be able to do that because there were so many levels of approval for one thing to get done, the bureaucracy, and also the lack of care. It was like, like the corporate uh, digital agency is basically uh, a machine. It is, uh, it's a machine that uh, that is churning and burning customers and uh, really the the passion was lacking. Although there were some really capable people over there, but uh, overall the the passion in the agencies were lacking. So we decided that we will start a very small digital agency and uh, we wanted to have only 20 clients but we wanted to make sure that every single client is absolutely delighted with the results that they're getting. So, so we set out on our path and we acquired 20 clients. This is around uh, early 2007. And we acquired uh, 20 clients within a matter of three months. And uh, we, uh, what happened was that these 20 clients were so happy with the results that they gave us about three to four referrals each. And all of a sudden we became from 20 clients to a hundred client agency. And when that happened, we had to, obviously we ourselves could not be the people delivering to the client. So we created the infrastructure around ourselves. We went about hiring people. And when we, when we did the hiring, one thing we kept in mind was that the values of the people who are coming on board are the same as ours. The level of care, the level of passion, 
and uh, that they have is the same as us. So whenever we hire, we would hire for attitude, hire for for values, and and the skill sets would automatically we could coach them in the skill set. Thank you so much for that. Obviously, when you start with why, you clearly define where your agency is going. You clearly define how you're going to be serving the people. And you also, um, you know, clearly define um, the people that are going to be conducting the work. Okay. Which makes it really, really, um, you know, fluid and hence the results that you're getting and people are excited about, you know, the results that um, they're giving. And I mean, you were giving and then requesting or referring their friends there. Now, does any of that just come in naturally or do you really have to have a creative mindset, um, you know, in order to put all of those things together? How is creativity an important aspect in the digital space as we have it at the moment? Yes, so that's a very good question, uh, Prosper, and I feel, uh, the thing is that in digital marketing, a lot of people think that you can like create a, a cookie cut solution for the client. But the thing is that every client is different. Their needs are different. Their competition is different. And uh, we have to think about how to create a digital strategy that is tailor made for our clients. For example, we have clients in the manufacturing industry. And some of them uh, have, were very old school before we, we got them as clients. And uh, they may be selling a very high value product. And uh, we know that if they're selling a high value product, they can't just sell it to the, client, to the customer, but they have to gradually educate the customer by and by creating high value content, using LinkedIn and, uh, and uh, using platforms that are absolutely customized to, to them. And when we have been uh, customizing the solution, we find that the client gets a much better result and uh, they tend to invest more with us and stay with us for longer. So, and on the other hand, if you look at it, we have clients like who are in the fashion industry and and for them, it may be that uh, we can do a quick Instagram advertising strategy and start getting them sales immediately. So it's more about the glamour and creating the customer engagement over there uh, and uh, giving the customer instant gratification. So, so we have to think about the customer of our client and, and create a, an, a customer experience for them that that matches with how they like to buy the product. Great stuff. So obviously with all of this creativity, like you, 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 you are paralleling two different industries. Like you've mentioned uh, manufacturing and they might be using old school uh, sort of um, technologies. And you also go into the fashion um, industry where they're using innovative um, technologies and you as a digital agency, you are stuck in between and have to service uh, both those people. How important is innovation and, you know, within your industry and also within the digital marketing space, um, you know, how important is it for, for people to be innovative and be adapting to new ways as they go along for them to stay afloat? Well, it is so important that, that innovative companies are, are growing at a rapid pace. And those companies who are failing to innovate, uh, they may even fail to exist. So, so innovation is what makes you survive and thrive, both. So what is happening in the digital industry is, uh, I'm sure you know that digital is moving at a very fast pace and, and it is changing. So, so what digital used to be like in 2007, when we started our company here in Australia, uh, it is not what it is in 2017. So in 10 years, everything has changed. The, the methods that we used to use for marketing have changed completely. So uh, like at that time, it used to be more about driving traffic to websites. And if you drove traffic to websites, then sales used to happen because people's 
expectations of websites were fairly low but now in today's day and age the customer is on mobile and their expectations of websites the user experience that websites are providing is very high so today we have to focus on having a very high quality customer experience providing and also providing marketing automation because the, there is there are so many options for people to buy that your message can get lost in the noise so so uh, innovation in terms of uh, the the type of digital marketing that companies are using innovating that like these days you see chat bots have come in and chat bots uh, are going to be very much the future so so with artificial intelligence the need for old fashioned customer service is decreasing and big brands are even recognizing that so where like there used to be phone based customer service now that same customer service can be done by a digital agent which is sitting on on the website and they can sort out which customer has what kind of needs and gradually bring them down to a level before a phone call is made so so reducing the amount of time that it takes to finally complete the sale so innovation is happening on all levels on the level of marketing on the level of technology and on the level of customer experience <coughs> understandable thank you so much for that now obviously anyone who's got a website anyone who's got some sort of social media um can call themselves an entrepreneur or a business person now as you would know if you're watching this uh show right now you would know that we advocate for people to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable but in order for you to do that you have to actually have a clear point of difference now anup why is it important that somebody has to be clearly has to clearly differentiate who they are in the marketplace in this day and age yes that's a very very good question and what i find like for me everything starts by being differentiated and uh, the fact is that uh, like there are so many companies to choose from in any industry that the customer tends to get confused about how to choose one from the other and mostly if you if you do a google search you find that most of the companies are saying the same thing so for example if you do a search in the mortgage broking industry you find that most of the mortgage brokers are saying low interest rates lowest interest rates uh, so the customer can't see any value uh, that is different it's all commoditized and the more you commoditize your offering the more the customer wants discounts and freebies and uh, and price competition starts and in the end margins get eroded and there is no what is called no brand recall so i remember when i started my business i was looking for someone who could provide me printing on the same day i needed to get some brochures printed and i wanted to get business cards printed so i went to google and i typed same day printing and there was among all the printing companies in melbourne there was only one company that was that said in the ad same day printing come to us today and get get your stuff printed so that was such a strong differentiation that it made me call that company and i went over there and i got my printing done and not only that Uh, they created a very good relationship with me so for the last 10 years i all my printing work and my clients printing work has gone to that company wow. so so that's where like we had a client in the finance industry and we used to ask him what's your differentiation he said oh no i am a mortgage broker and i don't have any differentiation so i said okay so why would i if i wanted to take a home loan 
why would I take a loan from you instead of Commonwealth Bank, for example? He said, oh, Commonwealth Bank, well, well, we are, we are definitely differentiated with them because we get the loan approved within 24 hours. So I said, then is that not your differentiation? And we made their, that their marketing message, we put it on their website, and their sales trebled. They became 300% as soon as we put this marketing message because people said, oh yes, I can get a loan in 24 hours. Let's go to this guy. Wow, wow. I was actually intrigued about um, the, um, the printer 10 years ago that you still are giving business, which really gives as proof positive that if you really stand out and stick out to your audience, they would become um, ambassadors for you throughout. And can you imagine how much business they have gotten from you in the time that you were growing and you were starting only because they differentiated themselves right from the start. That, that is a remarkable story right there in of itself. Now, obviously, Anup, um, you've been um, in and around and seen the internet changing. First of all, Facebook was free. Now we have to pay for it. And the time that, you know, you, um, you've had 14 years experience as, as a web developer, um, you know, and also with online marketing, everything just seems to be changing um, throughout. What is the one thing that you can say in as much as everything will constantly change, this will remain the same in digital marketing? Uh, well, there are a few things that will always remain the same. One is how much you care for your customer. So that is always the biggest differentiator. Because yes, you do need a, a sort of a hook and a differentiator to start doing business with the customer. But after the customer starts doing business with you, that, that value proposition will not keep the customer forever. So it's how much you care for the customer. Uh, at Arrow, for example, our average client stays with us from five to seven years. Whereas the industry average is just six months to, to one year. And because of that, because we keep our client for longer, over, over a period of time, they start looking at marketing as an investment. When they start getting five times the return for every dollar that they're spending in marketing, then they just want to keep scaling up. So if some, someone comes to us and, and starts with an investment of $5,000, in six months time, they want to invest $20,000 or $30,000. And, and in five years, they won't even hesitate to they, when their businesses grow and they become multi-million dollar businesses, they don't, they don't hesitate to spend uh, annually $100,000 as well. So, so that's what we find that, that because everyone at Arrow cares for the customer, uh, like we have that longevity, and customers are referring customers to us and they consider us as like partners in growth. So, and uh, this I think will, even in 2050, no matter how much machine learning and artificial intelligence and chatbots come in, the value of this personalized human interaction and care, it cannot be uh, reduced. Understandable. Thank you so much for that. Now, I know, you know, our viewers are probably intrigued, um, you know, by your wealth of experience and knowledge and also the care you actually do have, um, you know, for your own audience for, you know, having spent time with us, you know, answering all our questions. How can people get a hold of you there, Anup? Uh, so the best way to, uh, to contact me uh, is, uh, one is on LinkedIn. I'm available on LinkedIn. So, so my name is uh, Anup Batra, so uh, surname B-A-T-R-A, -A. So, uh, so Anup as an A-N-U-P and surname B-A-T-R-A -A. and then I'm also available on my mobile which is 0417-290-865 and my website is arrowinternet.com.au 
Understandable. Um, besides the, the mobile number, I will put all those links for you yeah. at the bottom, just in case you might have a few fans, um, Anoop. Sure, <laughs> thanks for that. Really appreciate it. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Now, obviously, you've been in the game long enough, and I know you're going to be sticking around for as long as it takes you. Do you have any predictions that you might have of what people might look out for in, you know, 2018 and beyond things that, you know, they should maybe start working on now and um, just so that they're prepared for, for the future in, you know, what sort of trends are you seeing will be pro prominent in, in the years to come? Sure, uh, 2018 will be a lot of technological change taking place in the industry. So uh, we will find, for example, mobile, like the usage of mobile will continue to, to rise. Social will go on mobile. So, so most people will be using social on mobile. And, uh, and video will be the main way to, to convince and convert people. So the engagement, the thing is that internet speeds are increasing. And in 2018, we expect to have maybe three times as fast internet speeds as we have right now. And what that means is that, that you can easily download video. And a lot of advertising, online advertising will start taking place on video. So Facebook recently came up with a trend where it says that if you have video content on your profile, they will come and place ads on that and and they will reward you when someone comes and clicks on those ads so so <laughs> video content generation and video stories uh, they're going to be uh, massive the the rise of chatbots and artificial intelligence and the rise of machine learning a lot of manual processes will not be required anymore so, so like uh, Google is already, they, are, they have launched like machine learning based ad campaigns. So we'll have fewer people, but more clever people doing the same job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that forewarning because every day that I wake up, there's always an app or a software that's already designed to take my job away. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have to keep up with these things. Now, Anup, I cannot thank you enough for your time, especially your value in this um, video today. And if you've been watching this video, you are well aware that we really want that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And as you can tell from what Anup is saying, not a lot really changes if you actually put care, time and effort into uh, knowing your customers and actually creating a unique uh, point of difference so that they can fish you out in a sea of other uh, competitors out there. Now, Anup, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Cool. Now we are not turning back now. It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great stuff. <clears throat>